We're taking a look at 10 ways to wield your magic wand, and we're starting right now. Alright, I guess we'll start at the beginning. Where does the wand come from? Well, many scholars believe that the modern magician wand evolved from the shaman who used a drumstick to perform healing and religious acts. And before that, ancient Egyptians were buried with a wand to use in the afterlife. Who knows, maybe its origin dates back even further. And that brings us to the first thing you can do with a magic wand. Talk about it. And here's tip number two. Tapping. Tap the wand to generate sound. It's a great way to get attention. This is wonderful for street performing and also great for like bustling convention halls and venues like that. You can also use the tapping and sound in a magic effect. The wand can also provide natural motivation. For example, here I'm using it to motivate a hand-to-hand -hand transfer. And the wand also provides shade the hand holding a hidden object. It works well with the Ramsey subtlety and a quick spin of the wand helps aid the deception. And spinning the wand brings us to tip number five. You use them to do flourishes. Wandistry. You can combine the flourish with secret technique to effect a vanish. Or you can skip the flourish and just get right to the point. Not only can you use the wand to vanish small objects, you can also vanish the wand. And when you need to bring that wand back, there's many ways to produce it. There's one. And you can also use the magic wand to produce other items. And with the right touch, the magic wand can also defy gravity. <laughs> Not for long. All right, that's 10. And all of those things can be done with a normal ungaffed wand. And because it is an ungaffed magic wand, it doesn't need to be a professionally crafted stick. You can use all kinds of items. Just uh, use your imagination. Hmm. Okay, well that's enough for now. I've kept this list at 10 items. Uh, there's more where that came from. We'll save that for a future video. I hope you've seen something you'd like to use or like to learn, and if so, please take a second and hit that like button. Maybe subscribe. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.